Yeah, 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 we're in the building. It's MC, a.k.a. Microphone Criminal, and it's another episode of the Next Level Show. And tonight we got the Thoroughbreds in the building. Shit, shit. Go ahead and announce yourselves, let people know who, who's in the building tonight. Hey, man, you got the captain, I mean the head of the m- vulture. Oh, no cursing. No right. cursing, my fault. You got the uh, the captain of the, you know, the team or whatever like that, uh-huh. DC the Beast, SP. No yeah. doubt. You got the... General right here, zigzag dragon fire, eighth degree spitter. Word. Yo, you got the bottom of the south, man. Is it country eight oh three? Holla at me. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, that's what's up. So what's going on, fellas? Like, let people know exactly. Uh, is this all the group right here, or is there more members? Nah, we thirteen deep. Thirteen. Thirteen. 13 that is it hard keeping up with that many folks, man? Yeah, because we got uh, what, six artists down south, South Carolina, that's uh, TBC South. We just started that division about a month ago. Uh-huh. You know, so, we're doing that. Running that little division. Shout out to uh, Mashik, Don Don, uh, we got Rock, yeah, Molly, Molly G's, Lil Cortez. Okay. We got a little squad down there, man. They, they doing their thing, man. I'm, I'm proud of that. Like that's uh-huh. my creation right there. So, yeah. E Dub and my folks. My folks, shout out to my folks, man. Yeah, I mean. All right, that's what's up. So, was everybody in the building? Y'all was born down south. They were. We right. everybody, uh, South Carolina, South Philadelphia. Basically, we keep in the south. Yeah. All right, that's I'm South up. Philadelphia. <laughs> my cousin's Life of a Don, Rap Star Bling, and uh, Sub Major. Major. You know, he from South Philly. And you got Visa Rothstein, Izzy Country, and Zigzag, all from down south, South Carolina. All right, that's what's up. So let people know how you first got into the music, into the music thing, and then how the group formed after that. Uh, I've been doing this since I was, I say, eleven. I started recording when I was twelve. Mm-hmm. You know, I linked up with uh, Zigzag, my man right here, my cousin. My other cousin, you know, I wasn't familiar with him from down south. Uh-huh. He linked on some music, and then there's history from there, man. Like, he just put me D with the squad. Then, you know, the squad, you know, had his little ups and downs. Then they put me in charge, so. Okay. Let, I'm head, leading the pack to, I mean, where it's supposed to be at. And how long has the, has the group been together now? Since 2009. All right, that's what's up. How y'all, how y'all guys uh, first get into music before y'all before joining the group? Oh, we was doing this when we was down south. This wasn't yeah, new. yeah. This is my little brother right here, even though he looked bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. man. Like it started for me, man. Actually, Aiken Milton in the lunchroom banging on the tables. Actually, uh-huh. you know what I mean. Before the studio, before the karaoke. It was real mixtapes. I mean, the tapes, dog. No CDs, no mixtape, but they call CDs now. Right. I'm talking about tape decks. Uh, Press, rewind, fast forward, stop. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And record. And record. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, that's what's up. So how did y'all first get in? Like, get into the group? Did y'all hear he was doing his thing and y'all was like, yo, what's up? Or how did it go down? No, actually, well, actually, I came up one summer. Uh-huh. Visit my family and stuff, and uh, you know what I'm saying. My cousin know I be rapping and stuff, and he said he got a little homie that be rapping. Right. So I was rapping with some of the uh, guys on the block, and then you know I, I met his his homie. You know what I'm saying. You know we did what we did. You know what I'm saying. We started challenge each other. Then he liked my style, I liked his style. Then from there on, we was like, yo, you know, we might as well just collab and we'll just keep it all popping. And that's what we did. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Arizona. I be they the originators of the group Thoroughbreds. Like okay. they put it together. They went on a little, you know, high haters. They rock mad shows. I mean Apollo, they won mm-hmm. like three, four times. They uh. rock shows and everything was tight with the roots, roots crew or whatever. So uh, right now they not doing it right nah, now. Nah, I mean, nah, they on their fault. I got them on my mixtape though, luckily. Okay. Pulled them pulled them out the closet on some, you know, revenge of the thoroughbreds type. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, so who's that? I see y'all rocking on the shirt. Oh, uh, rest in peace, Mizzy Me, man. It's our cousin. We lost him about two years ago in a fatal car crash. All right, sorry to hear that. But y'all holding it down for him. Yeah, sure, yes, he's sir. proud. Yes, sir. What's going on? So um, once again, so you say it's thirteen people. You know what I mean? How do y'all get together? And since it's, you know it's over the course of two different states, how do y'all actually? 
decide who's gonna be on what tracks and like how do things like that come into play? As far as us that's here in Philadelphia, like uh-huh. we uh you know, we just put on a beat, smoke some ism. Uh-huh. Like, you know, whoever wanna rock, rock. Yeah, yeah. If okay. the if he got a hook, he got a hook. He might add something to his hook. I might add something to his hook. I might stop telling him, nah, I'll take something out, record it, everybody's satisfied. There's no riff or nothing like that when it comes to music with us. It, it just happens. Okay. It's like our own little zone. Everybody try to, you know, how do y'all do that with so many people? It's easy. <laughs> it's, easy. It's, it's real easy, man. It's not complicated at all because all our styles are different, but at the same time, we complement each other. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but as far as down south, we about to... Uh, like I said, I just started that. Matter of fact, when we were supposed to be here the first time. Right. Or the second time. Or the second time. Yeah. The first time was the second car. time we was coming, you yeah. know, coming from South Carolina. And that's when I, you know, put that group together. So we about to get together and send them some equipment down there because we took our equipment down there for them to record. We okay. got like eight tracks for their mixtape. We started that off while we was down there, get that out the way. We're going to send them some equipment down there, whatever. You know, they grind, they get their equipment. You know, help them out or whatever. So, that's right. how we're going to do it for them. So, let people know that's uh, tuned in right now exactly what type of style of music y'all bring to the table. What's y'all genre? Zigzag. Life. Real <laughs> life. Not okay. that fake stuff, that fantasy stuff. I'm talking about stuff that you can see us do on a daily basis with right. no problem. Like that type of stuff. Stuff that comes from your heart. Right. It's stuff that we missing these days in this hip hop. That's what we talking about. That kind of music. All right, that's what's up. You want to add anything to it? Oh, he summed it up. He summed it up. He man. summed it up right he there. Summed it up. All right. You know. Do anybody uh, have any solo projects that's out already, or do you let me know about the group projects that's out? Yeah, we got uh, Thorough Chronicles 1080p HD hosted by Cassie DJ DJ Thorough. Mm-hmm. That's on that piff right now. We uh first time we went down south. And when did that a, come out? That, that came out uh like a year and a half ago. All right. First time we uh went down South Carolina, they loved it, man. Like we sold over five, five hundred, six hundred copies down there easy. Uh. You know, came back down here. Right off the it, trunk. Right. It is what it is. Uh-huh. Like we came back down here, you know, just told everybody to download it. We got a couple downloads, whatever, but you know, it's all about getting that bread, so we did uh-huh. mission accomplished for that. But we got a... We took a hiatus when Mizzy passed yeah. or whatever, like that little a little break from the music to get everything situated. And then jumped right back on the scene. Life of a Dime mixtape dropped in April, I believe, April 20th, 21st. That's on HotNewHipHop.com, titled Life, hosted by DJ Mount G's. All right. We got my mixtape coming out next month, hosted by Ace McCloud, Fix Your Face. And we got my man is a country mixtape coming out in September, October, hosted by DJ Frosty, South Carolina. All right, no it's called Country Five. Country Five, go get Country that. Country Five, no doubt. All right, so as far as uh like fan reception and like doing shows and stuff like that, what would you say the difference between the the fans in Philly or the you know the crowd in Philly, if you will, and the crowd down south? Cause since y'all got that experience, I mean, for us performing, it's no difference. Like we get, we get love everywhere. Like everybody mm-hmm. says, it's so hard to rock a Philly crowd and everything like that. We never had that problem. I mean, you know, you still got the stiff faces, but you can still see their feet tapping. <laughs> you know what I mean, you still see their head nodding. You still see them popping their fingers. You still, you know, uh-huh. people all the little reactions, or whatever. But for the most part, man, we've been uh, we did show like what sixty something shows in the past year or whatever like that. From here to South Carolina, a couple shows in VA, Atlanta, whatever like that. But uh, yeah, for the most part, man, they love us. Okay. I do, you know, to their own home, but you know, it is what it is. They love us. Yeah. All right. Well, we gonna go ahead and hit them with a with a track real quick. Yes, I'm sir. Hit, I'm hitting with that bands. Yes, Anybody sir. Anybody want to say anything on that track real quick? Shout out to Mizzy Me. That was his last track that he ever uh recorded. You know that's that's going to be on uh, Thorough Chronicles. Blur Vision was was set to be released November twenty fifth. If not, if don't go to, as planned, it will be dropped December twenty fifth. So within November twenty fifth, December twenty fifth, you will hear Thorough so Chronicles. So Thanksgiving Blur Vision. or Christmas, right? Oh, Christmas man. tree or you know get your munchies on. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Blur Vision. 
You better wrap it up too. How often are y'all doing shows? Would you say on average? Uh, right about now, like we we in a stage right now where we just became a brand. Like we got mm-hmm. our website, we got our press kit. We we've been in XXL magazine. We've been in uh. You know, several magazines, online magazines, whatever like that. And we were told, we were told by the company we've been dealing with not to really, you know, pay to perform. Like, you know, a lot of Philly places want uh-huh. you to pay right. to sell tickets and everything like that. They told us not to unless it's a good look, unless we got my man right here reckless shooting it. And it's for our documentary. There's really no need for us to, you know, just jump into any old, any old, you know, situation like that. But we'll be at the Dobbs next week, though. Next Thursday and rock. That's where they can check y'all. Yeah. Check y'all out at. Yeah, you Legendary know the time Dobbs, on that. South Street. Uh, we have to sign up at eight, so y'all should be there at seven. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> no doubt. So, um, y'all fellas, y'all y'all been doing a lot of tracks. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just came from the studio, man. Don't just came, just, yeah. just fresh came. out, yeah. fresh out, fresh out. We got we recorded a couple tracks. Shout out to Wild Boy Quan, and you know he. Show love on me and Izzy Country new mixtapes got a couple hooks on them joint. All right, and, um, y'all working with in-house producers or y'all just uh, basically whoever got that heat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever got that heat, right, right? Right now we have a couple, you know, that just tosses beats on the strength. Like uh-huh. shout out to uh, Bombs Two One Five, you know, he show us mad love. Shout out to J A, I mean a white boy, he out, you know, somewhere he's bumping. <laughs> oh he's man, somewhere. he cursed again. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, he out somewhere, whatever he doing, you know what I mean? But we got uh, Ant Money, IB, you know, the group leader, his young boy making beats for us. We got uh, yeah, a couple, a lot, of, a lot of people, you know, show love. Rob Lowe, shout out to Rob Lowe, man, the Beat Em Up Boys. Feel okay. Love. Feel yep. Love, one of the tracks. Yeah. Right. Y'all, Y'all doing any collabos with uh, other artists, or is it basically just the group right now? <sighs> Yeah, we open to collab with anybody that's hot and anybody that's you know, you know, rocking, doing their thing. Like we don't, we that's don't serious about work, right? We don't promote you know BS hip hop. Mm-hmm. I mean, we ain't waiting for that. Like if you sound like I'm not gonna put no rappers out there, but if you sound like that garbage on the radio, then mm-hmm. you not nah. nine times out of ten we won't be working with you unless you cutting the check. All right, <laughs> <laughs> a nice a check. nice looking check right, at that. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right, I hear that. So um, as far as the label situation, are y'all trying to do y'all eventually want to sign some type of deal, or y'all y'all just trying to build from the muscle? Trying to build from the muscle, man. Like we haven't sat down. Me and my um counterpart, Life of a Don, who ain't here. Shout out to Life of a Don. We have to sit down and actually talk about that because everybody in this room feels as though we should do an independent. You know, I, I gotta touch base to see what he want to do. Independent is the best look for us, man. Like we not trying to be controlled, we not trying to be watered down. We just, you know, like okay. we we Philly woo, like we Philly woo, like we Wu Tang affiliated. Shout out to Judah Priest, uh, Lord Buddha Monk. Shout out to you know the Zoo Ninjas, Brooklyn Zoo. We share stages with these guys a couple times, man. Like you know, we just been, you know. Trying right. to do our own thing, man. We ain't really trying to ink. I mean, if it's a distribution deal, then let it be. But if not, nah. All right, cool. So would you say that um, the tracks are like a, a crunk type type of uh, sound? Or how would you go yeah. about that? That depends. Uh-huh. If right. you get the music from Izzy Country, you're getting that down south crunk. You get the music from D.C., you're getting that real life Philadelphia. Street. Okay. Everybody else, but like a person like me, Zigzag, is that militant, you know what I'm saying? The one that gets your mind right, that conscious stuff that we don't hear enough of. Right. All right, that's what's up. And you've been doing, how long you been spitting for? Oh, <laughs> a long time. A minute? Long, long time. <laughs> it, it, been, it been a little minute, huh? Yeah, yeah about 15 years. I mean, that's what's up. How y'all feel when y'all go up on stage, man? Like, uh, what's the what's the preparation for that? And then, you know, how does it feel once you up there and you see them heads nodding? Uh well nervous. Yeah. Yeah, you say, nervous like, beforehand or during? Nervous Before. beforehand, but once you hit that stage and that music come on, it's just like you just right. zone out. Right. Just zone out. As a group though, we prepare, you know, uh before we leave out for any show or whatever, we say prayer, then we get there, we chill for a little minute, everybody do them, get get the drinks. Once we find out where we at in the lineup, depending on, you know, if we have enough time, we go out, burn one, come back. 
I mean, and just rock out. All right, no doubt. So y'all got now. So um, just let the people know, like, what's coming up for the immediate future, you know what I mean, that they can look out for. I know you said you got the thing dropping at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, they yeah, can yeah. catch you next week, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Legendary Dubs, 3rd and South, between 3rd and 4th and South Street. I mean, you we know. got some solo things coming out. Yes, sir. My mixtape, Fix, Fix Your Face. Fix Your Face. Hosted I mean. by Ace McClick Clack, Ace McCloud, you know what I mean? Shout well, tell out. us a little bit about that mixtape real quick. Like, you know, how many bangers you got on there? Oh, man, I'm, I'm currently trying to push this uh, Let It Marinate track. I should have got it over to you, but, uh-huh. you know, Let It Marinate track. Just me, myself, and I, you know, I rock that John, hosted, uh, produced by J.A., J.A. Beats. Uh-huh. You know, I got, uh, I got like, what, 300 plays in, like, two weeks on that John on the, on the internet. It's still, mm-hmm. still, you know, being played or whatever. I got uh, a couple people threw it up on their blog sites. I got a couple feet, you know, everybody on my team you got on a video it. for that already? Uh, coming in two weeks. Coming Shout out to uh, DJ Stash Money. You know, you're going to shoot that joint. All right. Man over here, reckless. You know, can't stay still. He gonna shoot my second. Mama right. cry featuring Izzy Country and uh, Life of a Don. Okay. Then he gonna shoot Nightmares. Zigzag first single. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Is oh, this yeah. gonna be your oh, first yeah. video? Oh yeah, my first video and my first single. All right, that's what's up. Nightmares, right? Nightmares. Nightmares. Cra- crazy track right there. Crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it is it online yet? SoundCloud. 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 And you could right. go to uh, our website www thoroughbreds.com that's t-h-u-r-o-b-r-e-d-z dot com you know it's official now and that's where they can find everybody everything for, yes for everybody alright that's what's up. And, w- and once again you ain't tell us how many tracks is on that uh, fix your face fix your face I'm I'm you thinking leaning about leaning towards my you know my block which is 16 I'm from 16th street 16th from Latona shout out 16th Latona M16 I'm leaning towards 16 16 tracks 16 okay. 17 tracks something like that that's a solid number. I like I like sixteen track albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next yeah. level show we back in the building with the thoroughbreds. And the level Jeez. is high. Know what I mean, so I'm gonna go ahead let everybody put their sights and all that good stuff out there. You know what I mean? Hey man, it's thoroughbred click. This is DC the Beast. You can follow us thoroughbred click at two one TBC two one five on Twitter. TBC two one five on Twitter. Instagram too. Uh, Official website, www.thoroughbreds.com, T-H-U-R-O-B-R-E-D-Z.com. You can find me at Twitter, DC the Beast 215 Instagram, DC the Beast SP. That's D-A, not the. Yeah. It's important. Y'all, what, y- what y'all got going on? You can find me at the website, <laughs> www.thoroughbreds.com. There you go. Just go straight to the job. Just follow me on Twitter at Izzy Country eight hundred three dot Kizom. That's it. All right, that's what's up. But we're gonna hit him with the last track. This is uh rocking high. Rocking high. Who we got on the thing? Everybody from TBC, man. Everybody but uh, who we missing? Zigzag. Yeah, everybody but Zigzag. <laughs> <laughs> Where you was at, man? Why you ain't get on there? When you hear the song, you understand why. Uh, 